Welcome back guys. So in this video we're going to be installing the TMR electromagnetic joysticks. Now these are the best joysticks that are out right now. Now these are the Ghoulie Kid brand. I got these from Alibaba. They're also available on Amazon and I'm going to leave the links in the description so you could just check it out and there's different variations for it so you could either get it for the Xbox or the PlayStation 4 controller as well. So what makes these so special? Well, here it says that the TMR joysticks offer significantly higher precision and faster response times compared to Hall Effect joysticks, making them ideal for high speed and precision demanding games. Additionally, TMR technology dramatically reduces power consumption, resulting in longer battery lifetime. So these are the benefits of TMR joysticks. Most of the controllers that you are buying right now on the market are either Hall Effect or potentiometer. So if you wanna put these on your current controller, most likely you have to buy them and do the installation process, which I'm gonna show you everything you need to know in this video. So this video will be kind of like a tutorial. So if you get these joysticks, if you follow this video, you should be able to install them on your PlayStation 5 controller, configure them, and they should work quite well. So here in the back, it just shows the benefits of the TMR sensors again, high durability and long life by con contactless and wear-free TMR sensors. TMR is effective only for a single direction of magnetic field lines, providing better interference resistance. So I guess the technology in these are something that deals with the field lines, um, but they're supposed to be super smooth. All right, so let's take a look what these are and what they come with so you get your joystick pads which are quite nice i should say and here they are i mean i feel the resistance is quite well on these so here i have a just a regular potentiometer one. And here I have a K-Silver Hall Effect. Just comparison. They feel about the same. So we're gonna be installing the TMR joysticks on this controller. And as you can see, this stick here has a very heavy drift. If we do the test here, the right stick is okay, but as you can see, the left stick has a high average air of 14% and it's drifting to the left. So this controller is really unusable, so we're gonna try to revive it. First thing we need to do is take this controller apart, get to the motherboard, and remove the old potentiometer joystick. So to take the controller apart, we could use either a prime tool to get this black shell off here. And once we get that shell off, we get one and two screws exposed. And we're just going to take these triggers off and it's going to be one and two more screws. And we're just going to unscrew these real quick. Once we get those screws off, there's two clips here that we're just going to pull back. And that allows us to peel the controller apart. And we can take the battery off here. We have one screw right here that we want to take out. Carefully going to remove this battery case. We're going to get these ribbon cables off. One, two, three, and four. And now we could take the motherboard out. And here we have the joysticks that we're going to try to remove but before we do that we want to first get these wires off so we could expose and take the motherboard off from the controller and to do that we're going to need a soldering iron and we're going to heat it up to around 500 600 degrees and before i start i just like to clean my tip here with a tip tinner so you guys could do this too if you want This just makes it a little bit more smoother, takes off the excess solder that's there 
from previous time. So what works for me to remove the joysticks is this fast chip SMD removal alloy. So it comes like this and you just want to melt a little bit and put it on these pins. And after we're just going to melt it with the heat gun and that's going to release these joysticks from the motherboard. So I'm going to get my heat gun going to around 800 degrees. And as soon as I see that that SMD is melting, I'm going to pull out the joystick. And you guys saw how easy that just came right out. All this stuff I'm using here, I'm going to leave in the description to make it easier if you guys want to follow along. It seems like all this SMD rework I've been using on this channel to remove joystick, I just ran out. I need to order more. There it is. Now that we got the old joysticks out, we just now have to clean the motherboard and get it ready for the new TMR joysticks to be installed and soldered on. So we're gonna be using this solder soccer. It helps to remove some of the excess solder in here and the remaining SMD rework. The cleanup looks all right. Just gotta make sure that all these holes, uh, we could put the pins through them. There is one here. So this one here is stuck. We'll see how that one's gonna work out. So I'm gonna try to heat this up and while it's heated up, it should melt it and I should be able to stick the joystick inside. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to get our soldering iron heated up to around 650 degrees. And make sure all the pins are there. And put some flux paste. Not the best soldering job, not really proud of this one. Hopefully the next one should be better.
right, this is what it came out like. So let's put these cables back here onto the motherboard as before. Okay, now that we have this controller back how it was earlier, we'll start putting the rest of it together. Now that it's back together, let's give it a test and see how those joysticks turned out to be. If we check the new sticks here, you can see that they're off-centered. So we need to go to the DualShock calibration, GUI here. I'll leave this link below. We're gonna connect the controller here and we're gonna calibrate stick center. And we're just going to follow the instructions. Move top left. Top right. Bottom left. Bottom right. So now we go to the gamepad tester. As we can see now, our sticks are centered. And now we could actually calibrate more. Calibrate stick range. So if we could see here, these sticks are out of range here. Let's see if we could fix that. Rotate the stick slowly to cover the whole range. Press done. So we're gonna take our sticks and rotate them. So that's much better. So this right one is still a little bit here. So maybe we could try to do it again. So let's see. Right now it's 4.2 and 7.1 air. So I'm going to do one at a time. Let's see if that helped out more. So, I mean, it's still pretty good. Sticks are not bad. And they're perfectly centered. So there we go. This is what we have to work with. And just for comparison, I have a brand new PS5 controller and let's check out the sticks and how they look. So this is a brand new controller right out of the box. So as you can see, the circularity air on a brand new controller is 9.4 and 10.6.